how to bring in your claw kit, and then the final uh, one by 20 hole supports to finish the building of the claw bob. Um, there may be an optional video following this about how to get the claw to actually open and close. Um, that would be optional. Uh, so this is the last kind of more uh, expected part to be completed. But um, if you remember what I did to uh, get this piece moving, that was also in an optional video um, where I actually went in to this file, the motor, um, I found that component, I made a copy of that component, then in the file I deleted it, and then I brought in that copy um, and used a joint um, to bring it in. That might be the process in order to get the claw working correctly. Okay, so we'll look at that later, possibly. Um, so bringing in the claw, uh, first thing I had to do was upload it to um, my folder here because I didn't find it in my, the stuff I had. So I went to select upload, then select files. And um, when you look in here, it's in the motion folder of the uh, VEX kit of parts. All right, so yeah, you go to motion, claw kit, and it's the only thing in there. All right, so you click that, click open, and then you tell it where you want it to go, and you would click upload. I've already done that, so I'll hit cancel. Um, and I decided not to put it in one of these folders because uh, it kind of doesn't fit in any of those folders. Um, it's, it's not really structure, it's, it's not really motion, uh, so yeah. I just put it with, with the claw bot. Um, okay, so I brought that in. And um, the next thing I did was um, I created a rigid group. Okay, so you remember how to do that. Um, I actually, if you go to this view, that's an easy way to isolate it so nothing else is in the background when you go to select it. Drag over the whole thing. Okay, uh, like create a window that in includes the entire thing. Uh, once you do that, you'll go to assemble and rigid group. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Um, I made that rigid group, moving forward. And the next thing is um, joining it to our bar. Okay, uh, so to do that, um, it is uh, the process I walked through was getting this hole joined to, uh, let's go back one, this second hole. Okay, and um, I actually also changed the angle. So when I did that, um, the weird thing is because of the way this, this works, you're gonna see just this single piece come over here. All right, once you um, click okay, the whole thing will move into position. All right, but just the single piece is gonna get over there, which gets a little bit confusing. Um, so um, I actually changed the angle on it to a 35 degree angle, or I think 135 degree angle. So it was perfectly lined up uh, from this perspective. All right. And before I clicked OK, I went to, let's say, this view here, and I centered it, okay? And um, I'll tell you the number to center it. So this thing is a little larger than our bar, all right? And um, if you remember, we would put through, like, a there's like a giant bolt, um, or you could put a couple bolts in, but, and then like a spacer. Um, the distance from this edge, okay, so that line that is darkened right there, to this line here, when you go to put it in, is 0 0.05505, okay? Um, yeah, so that's that's what that is, 0 0.05505. Uh, and then you'll see when I click forward, it's gonna be nice and even Steven in there, all right? Um, so that should bring us up to where I'm at currently. Uh, the next step I'm gonna do, uh, and actually since I have you here with me, uh, we can do this together. Um, is we need to bring in those bumper rails, of course, and I'm going to add the screws and bolts in here later, just like I added the, the bolts here, okay, there on that thing. But uh, yeah, let's bring in that one hole bumper rail. Okay, so I imagine that's in structure. Uh, it's not a bumper, it's one hole. They call bar 20 hole bend. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to say insert into design, and I'm going to need two of them. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not loving this orientation. Let's rotate that like that. That's much better. Uh, click OK. And then since I've already oriented this the way I want, uh, what I can do is actually come to that part and copy that. So I'm going to right click, copy, and uh, come into the space here, click paste, and look, there we go. So 
uh, I'll click OK. And I've got my two 20 hole bars. Um, all right, so we need to join these. And uh, actually, now that I think about it, mm, I wonder if it was correct the first time. This is getting a little confusing. Uh, yeah, so actually, this is the top piece. So that's going to go up there because you see this will come around down on the front. So um, I suppose I can just connect this at the front. Um, Ooh, but I wouldn't know what hole to bring it over here. So let's let's do that. We're gonna go J. Uh, let's capture position. All right, and um, I hit J for joint, and uh, let's get uh, sure like this right here. Okay, and we are going to join that. Uh oh, my computer is moving a little slowly here. There we go. To, um, let's see, to do the top one or the bottom one? Well, I'll find out soon enough here. Uh, to that right there. Okay, and um, I can tell it's not going the direction I want. So let's try hitting flip and see if that fixes it. Nope, that doesn't fix it either. So what I can do is, uh, let's see if this will spin it, aha, the way I want. So we're gonna spin it 180 degrees. Okay. And um, everything else should be set. Let's just do two uh, orthographic views to confirm that. Yep, that's set. And go to the top. And this should be definitely be set because of how I created this thing. And we're all set there. Okay, so I click OK. And if I go to my home view now, we should see... Yeah, only problem is I put it a little too high. Okay, so it needs to go probably, um, let's say, that uh, it needs to go at least two holes lower. Okay, but that'll be an easy fix. I just go to edit joint to do that. Um, so you'll put these two things on here. Uh, you'll put the 250 or 830 seconds by 250 or quarter inch bolt assembly through those. Um, so you're going to need eight of those, two up top to a bottom for both sides, and then you'll be done. Um, so uh, stick, I mean, keep looking out for perhaps some other videos about how to get this thing animated and, and do the virtual, but as far as the building, we're done.